Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Shanika if you're new here and thank you so much for stopping by. Happy Vlogtober y'all, happy Vlogtober. Vlogtober is officially winding down y'all. We are at like literally days before Halloween and y'all know Halloween is the end of Vlogtober. So um, your girl still has not has not gotten a costume y'all. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today on the agenda. We're going to go find a costume y'all. Also I want to sprinkle in a little bit of like... I'm not gonna say retail therapy, but just like some, just some, a little bit of self care, y'all. I want, like I've told y'all before, I wanna find, see if I can find some good skincare today. If I'm browsing around in stores, y'all, I'm gonna get whatever I want, y'all. I just, I'm in the mood, and I feel like retail therapy always helps me. So I'm not gonna wanna go look for anything, but we're just going to, you know, shop around today. Um, but I definitely have to find a Halloween costume, and I definitely need to get a really good skincare for today. Um, what else do we have on the agenda? I think we're just gonna kind of go with the flow, y'all. Like I said, um, my main objective today is to find my Halloween costume. Um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do later for as far as dinner. I'm not really trying to like cook, but I do want to eat something really good and comforting um, today. So I guess I gotta figure that out, y'all. I pretty much my day is almost over. I never, y'all know, I never start my days this late, but. I had to get up this morning and do some car stuff. I came back home, laid down, chill, had some coffee, relaxed, try to get my mind together, and now I'm back up out and at it because I only have like one day <laughs> to really get what I need for this upcoming weekend, y'all. I actually have a really long weekend coming up, y'all. Um, so yeah, again, what's new? My life is just always revolving like this and that. So um, nothing new here. I just wanna be like mentally prepared for it. So today I was like, I'm gonna take today to slowly gradually move into the day so i'll probably be doing stuff all night like you know what i mean um i do want to be back in the house at least about five y'all it's three so wish me luck okay y'all so i just came from getting my halloween costume y'all i'm not gonna tell y'all what i got i just want y'all to be surprised y'all have to watch the halloween vlog to see what i got um y'all yeah enough about it because i don't even want to talk about what i got but anyway um i was gonna go like to sephora and stuff y'all but it actually is pretty late and i want to start dinner um i decided that i got a taste for like fried chicken so i think i'm gonna fry some chicken some collard greens real quick like do something real quick i really it's five o'clock now so i want dinner to be done by like 6 30 so i was like i can just go to sephora and stuff tomorrow get up real early since i really did get a late start today um and yeah, because I still have to get up tomorrow and I still have to finish like doing some other car stuff. So I will see you guys when we get back in the house so we can start dinner. Y'all, if you know, you know these right here are on a different level. Your girl was pulling. Like she wanted some bread tonight, so I put this, got this to go with our dinner, y'all. But listen, if you've never had these before, do yourself a favor and try it. It's so freaking good. So this is the big one. So the way that the, the Fendi way is they have a small size and a big size, and you're supposed to wear one small one. Okay, y'all, so it's a lot of it later, y'all. I came, I done came home. I did finally find a costume, y'all. Um, we found something. We was able to pull something together. Um, I got, like, had to go out and got buy, like, all these accessories. But that's handled. Y'all will see that tomorrow. Um, today, I've just been, like, doing a lot of, like, cleaning and shopping and retail therapy and just all kind of stuff, y'all. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of like, just now getting big on the vlog, but I did go to the store and I did buy like little stuff for like my own little charcuterie board, y'all. I have a taste for it. Like I haven't had one in a really long time. And I was like, you know what? Today I was like, I was in the market and I seen that like 
all the yoga glass from my favorite stores. They have like a whole entire charcuterie board section, y'all. Entire charcuterie board section. Let me show y'all what I got from Aldi. Now you all know. Every time I come over here, I, oh, every every week I got a new like little thing that I got. Um, I'm gonna just do like where I'm just gonna do pizza for dinner. Though. I'm gonna put me one of these little pizzas in the oven. I got this from Aldi as well. They're so good. Um, my boyfriend's not here. He's out. So I'm like, he eating he out or he said he pulled he pulled chicken out. So maybe he'll make that. But y'all, me, your girl, I'm just gonna eat one of those pizzas and my little charcuterie. I'm so excited. So I just got these grapes. Um, this is just the Aldi spring grapes. I'm gonna put a little bit of those on there. They have these wafer crackers, y'all. This is like specially for the charcuterie board. These were like $2, I think. I got some of their like aged, what their aged cheese, y'all. It's so good. Now, last year, y'all, if y'all watched watch my vlog last year, they had this cheese that was like, it was like whiskey, tequila, um, bourbon, all kind of like cheeses that I think they were like infused with liquor. Of course, you can't really taste the liquor like that, but it was really, really good. So I was really looking for those cheeses, but they didn't have those, so I just got this one. This one's just, just a regular four, eight, four year old cheese. And then I got this other one, um, just a double, double smoked cheese and it says not your average so i'll let y'all know how that one tastes got my mini pickles y'all i love my mini pickles and y'all see this brand that says um special special specialty specially selected this is all these brands so anytime you see specially selected that's their brand their brand is really really good y'all i think it's good quality little pickles i got of course the charcuterie meat y'all and of course gotta get the olives i love olives y'all these are just basic olives they now all these are really known for having like the specialty olives but for some reason like i wanted that salty taste to go with you know everything else so i got that now i don't know if people do this y'all but i'm craving like chocolate so i got one of these little chocolate bars another aldi's exclusive if you have if you go on aldi right and you see this chocolate bar, pick it up. And make sure it's the raisin and nut, y'all. My mom put me on this years ago and I've never went back to anything else. Make sure you grab this and thank me later. So I got a little bit of that. I'm gonna put some of those on the board. And then I just got some dried cranberries, y'all. I'm gonna put some of those on the board. So what I'm about to do now is I'm about to open up my pizza, pop it in the oven, make my charcuterie board real quick. I want to make this fast, y'all. I really don't want... I'm not about to be, like, you know, overdoing it because I'm... I really want it. Like, I'm I'm doing it because I want to taste it, y'all. I'm not trying to be all, like, polit politically correct with it. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, y'all, so here's my snack. <laughs> Nothing super fancy, y'all. I really just had a taste for everything on here. Y'all, what it came out like, um, yeah. Nothing spectacular. I'm just 
really craving it. I was gonna make like y'all. I was gonna make it fancy and make a bunch of those, but I'm like, I'm about to just eat it. I don't really feel like doing all that. <laughs> So, um, I just ate the, almost their whole shark for the reward, y'all. I didn't even eat the pizza because, like, I was just, like, I'm like, I just ate so much. I'm so full now. That has, literally has satisfied my appetite. I'll probably have, like, some collard greens, a bowl of collard greens later and, like, some water before I go to bed if I get hungry again. But, um, I'm probably not going to eat that pizza. I'm just save it for my boyfriend. But anyway, y'all. I wanted to come on here and I wanted to talk about these products that I got from Walmart. Now, I told y'all that I was going to go to Sephora to get some skincare products. And I did, y'all. I did. We went to Sephora earlier today. And I was just looking around. Now, if you're not new here, then you know that I have a lot of knowledge within the beauty and skincare industry. Like, I know how these products work. I know, like, you know, what a lot of these ingredients mean and things like that so i'm very knowledgeable so i went into sephora and i was looking around and i knew i had an agenda i knew that i was looking for a product that was going to help with acne prone skin because like right now like my skin's breaking out and so when your skin breaks out it's typically acne so for me so i was looking for something to help control the acne treat the acne and you know help with my blemishes so I was in Sephora and I was looking at these brands and I was like, okay, so your girl's willing and I'm willing to spend whatever I need to spend to have a product work. So it's not about the money, y'all. It's really not. It's really not ever about the money for me. But your girl's very smart. Like, I'm very smart. I'm not going to just spend money on something that's not worth it. So I was looking at this one brand. I'm not going to say the, the, name of their, the name of the brand, but I was looking at this one egg brand that was geared towards acne and I looked, turned it over and I looked at the percentage because uh, honestly, a lot of the times like these brands can't put more than a certain percentage of a certain ingredient in a product anyway over the counter. Like it's just, you just can't do that. Like you have to go to, you know, like your, um, your dermatologist to get some of the you know to prescribe higher dosages of like the acne medicine so with me knowing that i was looking at this one product and it has salicylic acid in it and that's what i that's what i like to use on my skin so in order to treat your acne you can either use salicylic or benzoyl peroxide and i've i've found that salicylic has worked better for my skin so i was looking for something with salicylic in it and i see that it had two percent salicylic in it and i was like so y'all want me to pay $25 for a tube this big, this skinny, this tall, $25 because it got some salicylic acid in it. Now, it has some other ingredients in it, but the key ingredient in the product is going to be in salicylic acid. And first off, it had water was the first ingredient. So anytime you see something with water as the first ingredient, you know what I mean? Like, this is what we we was taught <laughs> that um the product is probably going to be watered down a little bit which whatever that's fine um but i knew that i could go right to target or walmart and find a product for seven bucks with two percent salicylic acid in it so that's what your girl did um i went into target um walmart actually um and i got the neutrogena treatment pads you guys so these are going to act as my toner something that I wipe on my face in between a wash and a moisturizer um, before I put my moisturizer on or serum on I will be wiping my face down with these and these pads um, just their treatment pads and it has salicylic acid in it it says it has eight hours of uh, maximum strength there's 60 pads in here and it stop it helps to stop emerging breakouts you guys because like I said I break out a lot right here I've been wearing these dirty masks at work all day long um, I have a mask on, so it's not getting a lot of air. It's not getting a lot of moisture. It's flaring up, so I want to take care of that because this is only going to get worse for me the colder that it gets outside. Um, and this has 2% salicylic acid as well, and this was eight, like $8.97. <laughs> so I got one of these, you guys. Um, again, because it is getting colder, I do like to use a cream cleanser in like the colder winter months so i did go ahead and get the acne cream 
I don't know if you guys can see it really good. The, the cream wash that goes along with the, with the pads. Um, and this also has 2% salicylic acid in it. So I will be cleansing my face with this. Um, for me personally, I like to do... Um, so three, three times a week, I like to exfoliate. So I will be using um, this at the times that I'm not using, like, um, I'll be using this. And every other day, I'll be using the exfoliator. So I like to alternate in between the two because you, exfoliating is really important. It's going to help, like, with, like, the hyperpigmentation and stuff. Um, so I got this cream cleanser. And then on the days, like I said, that I want to exfoliate, this, again, is a Neutrogena, another Neutrogena product. This is the... Um, this is the scrub that I'm going to be using three times a week, which comes up to every other day. Oh, here we go. Yep. And this one also has salicylic acid in it, but this also has vitamin C in it. So the vitamin C is going to help to brighten up the hyperpigmentation, the hyperpigmentation and lighten up the dark spots. Um, and it also helps to like um, clear up blackheads and stuff like that. This has grapefruit in it. Grapefruit is also something that, is, that helps with like acne and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to be using this three times a week. I've used to use that in the past, you guys, and I cannot use that every day. Um, I personally don't recommend that anybody use a scrub on their face every single day because it starts to break your skin down. Um, but I don't know if this even says you can use it every day. Um, yeah, oh, it actually says you can use it twice a day. <laughs> But again, I know my skin. I know my skin cannot take this twice a day. So I will be using this three times a week. I will be using this in between. I'll be alternating alternating in between the two. Now, for my moisturizer, y'all, I have really been liking the Pond Dry Skin. So I'm going to keep it there. I like it. It works for me. It does my skin really well. So I'm not going to switch it up right now. Like right now, I'm really focused on just clearing the, my issue right now. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Pond for the moisturizer. Um, to remove my makeup, and especially like I said, in the winter winter months, I'm going to be going in with the Pond's Cold Cream, y'all. Um, my skin loves cream in the winter. So instead of using the wipes, I'm going to go ahead and use this as my remover. And then I'm going to just double cleanse after I get my makeup off because I always like to double cleanse when I'm using the makeup. Um, and then y'all know I've been using the boots from Target. Okay, y'all, how do I look? How does my skin look? Um, I actually just did the scrub tonight so I did the grapefruit scrub um I did the well first of all I removed like um I just had like brow stuff on so I removed it with the cold cream brow uh, makeup remover I went in with the um grapefruit scrub because I told you I was going to like exfoliate my skin every other day so I exfoliated it tonight um and then after that I went in with the salicylic pads all in my like breakout areas then I went in with the vitamin C serum to, you know, help clear up the hyperpigmentation. The last step was my uh, Pond's um, cold cream moisture for moisturizer for dry skin. And the last thing I did, y'all, was I took like a really damp, moist towel, warm, not hot, but warm because, you know, heat like really draws out the moisture. But I did it warm and I just put it on my face for a couple seconds. Just like a nice little treat for like the end of the day um and i really like that i really like the way it looks i think you know y'all let me know how it looks um it feels good my skin feels so good i haven't did a good deep scrub in a while so i think that's why my skin has been going crazy as well because i haven't been exfoliating and y'all my clients if they was watching this they'll be like girl because i'm always preaching to everybody else about how important it is to exfoliate and your girl has not been doing it but just that one exfoliate did that one exfoliating treatment tonight just i feel like 10 pounds lighter like lift removing all that dead skin and everything clearing out my pores and everything so it feels amazing um y'all i am gonna look on amazon because i want to get like a little towel warmer to keep like on my sink you know like um 
to add some like Western regimen, I'm gonna just get like little facial towels and I'm gonna keep me like a cute little towel warmer on the side so I could do that because it feels really good at the end of the night. We're doing, I mean, you don't have to be extra and get a towel warmer, you could just you know wet your towel, you know, a warm to wet a towel with warm water and do it. But you know, me extra, I just want to do a little cute little towel warmer on the side, so I'm gonna look on Amazon for that, but um. Yeah, y'all, I'm trying to think if I want to go ahead and, like, press my hair out tonight because tomorrow I do have to go to the Halloween party, but I have to work tomorrow as well. So I have to get up tomorrow morning, work, come home, get ready, and then head straight to the party. So to knock off time with having to do my hair, if I do, like, a really good press on it tonight, wrap it, and then take it down for work, it won't be as bad. So I think I'm about to do that, y'all. I'm also about to watch Love the new season of Love is Bond. I'm about to finish it. What y'all think about Love is Bond? Like, is y'all liking it? Are y'all not liking it? Who y'all like? Who y'all don't like? I really am enjoying this season. Like, it's just the cattiness and the drama for me. Like, it's just... <laughs> One thing I really do love about the show is that I love love. If y'all don't already know, I'm a hopeless romantic. I love love. Like, I just love, like, love stories and stuff like that. And I do really think that there was some real connections made. Um, on previous seasons, like the first season, they're still together. Um, I forgot the black girl and the white man. I forgot their names. But I used to, I followed them on Instagram and everything. But I totally, I'm having a brain for it. I totally forgot their names. But they're still together. I mean, you know, we, if you watch Keeping Up, then you know Ayana and, um, Lord, what is his name? I don't know. I forget his name. But Ayana and the, and the guy. They're not together anymore. Y'all, I think the whole cast of last season that broke up, y'all, it was a mess last season. But this season, you know, they seem like they're doing well. well it's, it's a little drama. It's a little cattiness in there. <laughs> but they got to keep that They gotta keep that drama and cattiness going so we can watch it. So, like, let's be honest. But, yeah, I think I'm about to put that on, press my hair out, and get ready for tomorrow. I actually might end the vlog here because, I mean, I don't know if y'all want to see me press my hair. Y'all done seen me do that so many times. It's really not that interesting. Um, and I'm just going to just, yeah, I'm probably just going to here and enjoy the rest of my night because I do have to start editing the vlog and everything like that. So I'm going to end it here. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogtober. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Join the family lit over here y'all i'm really growing and i'm really excited about it um i'm not getting too excited you know i'm just keeping my head down and just keep working until i reach my ultimate goal but i see y'all i see the love i feel it and thank you so much until next time see you guys tomorrow bye